Hello and welcome to episode 3 of my C++ tutorial. In this episode we're going to be going over variables and um, if you watched the last episode you'll know that we did Hello World so I'd recommend you go back and watch that if you haven't seen it. Um, so variables in C++ work fairly similar to most other languages. Um, if you've used Python it's slightly different but it shouldn't be too big of a jump. So let's get started. In C++ you have different variable types. So you've got like your integers, your strings, your floats, your doubles, your whoozy watsits and dingly dongs and whatever. Um, you can create your own types and everything. But anyway, uh, let's start off with integers. So in order to do it, if you've ever done Python, you might want to do like variable, or let's do like just x equals 0 or 50 or over 9,000. There. Um, but that will not compile. Let's, let's see what happens if we try to. There. 9,001. It's over 9,000. If we try to compile that, it'll say x is not declared in this scope and also we forgot our semicolon so let's try that again so, so that way we just get this error x is not declared in this scope because it thinks you're trying to do some sort of function or something like that and it's got no idea what you're trying to do so what you need to do is you need to say that integer x is equal to 9001 so if we hit f7 un it'll say unused variable because we haven't done anything with it yet but um, just ignore that for now. That's just a warning. It'll run fine. See? Um, so let's say with C out, it's um, type safe. So that means you can pipe any type into the C out and it shouldn't have any qualms as long as it has the proper functions implemented. But as opposed to like um, printf from C. So let's try C out x. Compile that. We don't get any errors this time because we actually use the variable. And I'll print out 9001. So let's do say your number's not not over 9000. It's only 8999. If we wanted to get it over 9000, we need to add 2. So let's say integer y equals 2. Then we could do x plus y is equal to, or, well, it's not equal to anything. It's just x plus y in your c out, and it'll print out 9001. Another thing that you can do is you can have x plus, or is uh, equal to x plus 2. Or we forgot to delete our y from here. I forgot to put semicolon, sorry. There. Then we compile that and run it. And we get 9001 again because we added 2. Now this is a bit verbose, so what we can do is we can do x plus equal 2. Compile it, run, and we still get 9001 because we're adding two. Um, if you want to just add one, which is easy, which is really useful for like uh, you're doing loops or something and you just want to increment it, you can do plus plus. And you get 9000 since you're only adding one. So, anyway, um, let's go into other variable types. Let's do uh, strings, because basically all number types work like this, and even the plus plus will always add one, pretty much. So we need to include the string type, because in C++ it doesn't automatically have that. So we just need to do include string in order to get string type. And we need std, and you can hit remember my answer and don't annoy me again, because it's basically saying there's more than 250 things under std. There's a lot more than that, actually. 
um, std string foo is equal to hello world line break. And so we can do output foo. Compile it and run it. And it prints hello world because that's what we put in there. So let's go over input real quick because that's an easy one. We already have IO stream in, uh, included. So let's do like the hello, what is your name? So let's do uh, stdc out. Hello, or let's say just enter your name. Colon. And then we can do std cn. And then what we need to do is we need to flip this around because we're piping the c in uh, the input to our variable. But we need to create a variable first. So let's do std string name. So then we have name. So we just need to send it to name. And then we can do std c out. Hello, comma, space, end quote. Well, we probably want to put, uh, now we don't need to put a line break, so whenever you hit enter for CN, it automatically creates one for you. Hello, comma, space, close quotes. Then we do another one. So now we're learning that you can do pipe multiple things in a row. So hello, comma, space, which, and then we just need to put name. Then we do exclamation mark. Then we do a line break. Wonderful weather we're having. Semicolon. So we can compile this, run it, and it'll say enter your name. So how about Billy? Hello, Billy. Wonderful weather we're having. And that's how you do input. Um, there are some fishy situations with spaces because CN does not like those. Um, so that's why I didn't do like full name. There are ways to get around that. You use um read line, but I'm not going to go into that. You can look that up if you really need to. So, I think that's a good stopping point for this episode, and I will see you again in the next one, where we'll probably go over functions.